Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the crop tool which is the next tool on the list of tools here and you can see the keyboard shortcut for this tool is shift plus C and this is one of the tools that I use often when I uh, make thumbnails for my videos and I'm going to show you an example later in the video the first option over here will allow us to uh, crop only the selected layer and by default this is not on and to demonstrate I'm going to create a second layer here I'm going to click on this option this dialog will pop up and I'm going to create a layer with 2000 by 2000 pixels I'm going to fill it with foreground color which is black just click OK and this created our layer here and now going back to the crop tool I don't have the option selected I'm going to click and drag like this then click in the center you see I crop both layers at the same time I'll press Control Z and this time I'm going to select only uh, this layer and activate the option current layer only drag like this and you see that I can't even go outside of the selected layer I can only go inside of it and make a selection and once I'm happy with the selection I can crop the layer and as you can see it did not affect the layer below now let's go ahead and delete this layer select it click on this option to remove it and also uh, untick this option and let's see the other one allow growing now this will uh, allow us to go outside of our canvas I'm going to zoom out a little bit with uh, holding down the control key turning the mouse wheel backwards zoom out a little bit like this and you see now if I click and drag I cannot go outside of our canvas this cropping frame cannot go outside of it but if I select this option and now I can allow growing you see my uh, cropping frame can go outside and if I make a crop like this with a frame going outside this will resize our canvas as well I'll click here and you see our uh, canvas was resized and also what's outside of the image is now filled with the transparency I'm going to click Control Z to undo this usually you want to keep this on so you don't go outside accidentally outside of the uh, image and resize the canvas but if you need uh, to have this you have the option I'm going to uncheck it the next option that we have is expand from center and by default when I click with my left mouse button and drag the cropping frame you can see that it goes from the point of creation to whatever I point with my mouse and if I click on this option expand from center then I'm going to click and drag and you see now the uh, frame expands from the this point of creation is the center and it expands from there so you have this option also this option has a keyboard shortcut and that's the uh, control key so you can have it on and off by pressing the control key you can see over here how this gets uh, checked and unchecked when I click it so this is a useful keyboard shortcut and also to escape the uh, cropping you can press the escape key I'm going to uncheck this and another useful keyboard shortcut for cropping is instead of when you click and drag and make your selection to click anywhere here to make the cropping you can just press the enter key to apply the cropping I'm going to press Control Z to undo this the next option fixed I use often when I create the thumbnails for my videos and because this image is with the same dimension as a a 1080p image for example I'm going to crop it a little bit first so I'll just click and drag like this and crop it just cut some of uh, the this side out click here and now I change the dimensions of this image so the way I do it is I go to the size just click and drag first like this and go to the size and enter 1920 and then here 1080 click enter to apply and now this is the 1080p uh, size but if I want to fit the image or make it bigger I can click on the fixed option and this will keep the aspect ratio of this cropping frame you see that now I cannot resize it 
and uh, only the height or only the width both go together to keep this aspect ratio and for example if I expand it as much as I can here you see that some of the image needs to be cropped out in order this to be uh, the aspect ratio that I want so often when I make my tutorials I'll have uh, later create a thumbnail and often I have to apply this technique to uh, cut out a thumbnail with the size that I want and I'm going to adjust it for example I like the way this looks and just click the enter key and have my thumbnail for the video if I go ahead over here you can see that we can have uh, the aspect ratio fixed we can have the width height or size so depending on what you want you have these options here now the next option current actually this box here says current because I entered my uh, size and then chose the fixed option and uh, that's why it says this but we can change this for example to first of course we need to remove the fixed option and then change this to for example one by one and then we are going to click on the fixed option again and then we're going to click and drag like this here and now you see we have a square and I cannot uh, make it so it's not a square unless I untick the fixed option you can see the size here when it changes it will always be a square so easy way to crop something in a square or you can enter different type of uh, aspect ratios here 1 by 2 for example 16 by 9 it's really your choice you can also enter the portrait or landscape uh, options here I'm going to uncheck this a little tip here at least this is something that happens to me often when I use the fixed option I'll often forget it that it's on and then I'm going to try to uh, do something here and you see that because this is fixed I, I cannot adjust the width and the height the width separately of the height so if something is not working correctly with this tool just make sure this is on or off and um, usually most of the problems come from this option being on I'm going to click here to uh, reset the two options and move on to the next option which is the position of our uh, frame I'm going to click and drag like this and you see here we have the numbers in pixels where it's the position this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate in pixels we can change that if you want to depending on what you're working on and uh, you can type in numbers here to change the position for example I can type in 1000 pixels and my frame will change its position or I can use these arrows you can see the frame moving now the next option is the size already we saw how this works you can type in the uh, width here or the height so if I want it to be a thousand pixels by 2000 pixels I can quickly do this again we have the option to adjust this with these arrows or change from pixels to something else now the next option highlight here helps us see better how our cropped image will look like uh, you can see without it how uh, all of the image is visible but the highlight will dim the rest of the image and show only the uh, area where we are going to crop so this is useful to be on but if you want to remove it you can always do this from this option let's go ahead uh, and move on to the next option I'm going to click and drag like this to make uh, our frame and then go over here to this drop down menu you can see by default we have no guides and, and also we have the ability to choose from um, five different composition guides and these are all photography composition rules which are a topic for an entirely separate video but if you're eager to learn more about them just um, do a google search for photography composition rules and let's see what we have here we have center lines you see how this looks we have rule of thirds you see how this looks uh, rule of fifths golden sections and diagonal lines so like I said these are all uh, composition rules I'm going to go back to no guides in order to demonstrate the last option here the auto shrink option I have created a new image here with a red rectangle green ellipse and 
yellow triangle. So what this auto shrink option uh, basically does, it's going to attempt to find uh, the border of your objects and uh, try to automatically shrink your uh, cropping frame to that border. But in order for this to work, you need to have a very um, contrasting objects uh, with the background. For example, here we have a red color and here we have a white background. I'm going to draw our frame here and just use the option so you can see what happens here. It uh, shrink the cropping frame to the border of these objects and this only work because like I said we have a very contrasting colors here, red on a, uh, on a white background or green on a white background. Now if I move on to this image over here and try to use this option you can see nothing is happening because this only works when you have a very contrasting colors and the shrink merged option this um, without it this works basically on the selected layer with it it will work on uh, all of the layers that you have all the visible layers that you have and the visible layers are the ones that have this eye icon on here if I click it you'll see that the layer will become invisible I'm not going to be demonstrating the shrink merged option as I doubt you're ever going to use it. Just know that it's here. And uh, that's it for this video. I hope that it was useful. If it was, make sure to like it. If you're new to my channel, visit it, subscribe for more. Visit my second tutorials channel for InScape tutorials. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.